This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna to show you my two favorite ways to wire up a Strat. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Tone Lab. Uh, this is a little spot where I just like to talk about uh, gear and like the, the, the technicality of it and talk about how to get tones and uh, the little mods and stuff I like to do with all of my gear. And today we're talking about strats. Uh, I, I guess uh, amongst my friends, I'm known for having a pretty unique way of wiring my strat, which came from a, a very specific reason. And for years and years, I had it that way. And then very, very recently I changed it. And uh, I love both ways. So I'm actually gonna show you both uh, two ways that I like to do the strat wiring. And I'll tell you exactly uh, what, well, I'll show you what they sound like and you can hear them and I'll tell you why I picked it and uh, what I like about it. And then after that, I'll show you the schematic and go over what parts you might need to get if you're gonna do the mod and uh, how to do it for yourself. So let's start off with uh, the first, first wiring. And this is the one that I've been using for a long time. Uh, it comes from my love of strats and my love of the in-between position on a telly. Uh, and I like to call it my three-way in-between uh, strat mod. And uh, all of my mods come from keeping things really simple. I don't like having push-pull pots. I don't like having useless sounds and useless positions. I want everything to have a reason for being there. Uh, so that way at any moment, I could just go from good tone to good tone. So this is how uh, my main wiring goes. I have my neck position where you would expect it to be. Very, very good. In my, uh, over here in the in-between position, I got the uh, neck and middle pickup. Uh, and then on the very top, I got my bridge pickup. And of course, my all-time favorite position on the Strat, which is right here, the bridge and the middle position. Oh my gosh, isn't that, that's the best position on a Strat, right? I think, I, I don't know. Everyone likes this one, the neck and the middle one. But I don't know, there's more chirp in that upper one. I don't know, I think that sounds cool. Now, uh, when I'm in uh, these top two positions, uh, this is the tone knob uh, for both positions here. When I'm here and here, and the bridge and the bridge middle, this is the tone knob. Now, what makes this wiring different is when I go in the in-between, right? Or not the in-between, the right in the middle. And typically that would turn on the middle pickup. But uh, for me, what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to get a little bit of my telly sound, uh, my telly in between sound out of this guitar. So what this actually does is it turns on my neck and my bridge pickup. So it'd be almost like having the way it'd be on an in-between position on a telly. And if you actually look at uh, these pickups, this is my custom set. My bridge pickup actually has a base plate on it. It's wired very similar to a telly. So really getting in that in-between position uh, between these two pickups here, it really gives me that awesome cranked out like in-between telly position, you know that? <laughs> is very, very awesome. And if you're ever one of those people that are like, oh man, I love that telly in between position. I love the strat in between position. Well, this whole thing is really just three in between positions, the neck and the bridge pickup. So uh, all the stuff I would want. You do make a sacrifice, which is the middle pickup by itself, but I really do feel like having these two outside pickups on at the same time, it's totally worth 
like the the sacrifice and i don't have to do any weird push pull mod uh buttons and all this stuff it's just simple straight ahead and ready to rock now for the second wiring uh it's actually something that's well known it's a well-known mod but i put a little bit of a spin on it to make it fit my needs a little bit better and it all started with uh uh, just a while ago, I was doing a video called uh, Solo Better or how, how to do better solos without learning any new licks or anything like that. And I borrowed this Strat from Rufus Guitar Shop and the Strat had a thing called the Half Blend Mod. And what the Half Blend Mod was is uh, this tone knob over here became your master tone for all three pickups and all of the positions. And this tone knob over here ended up becoming a blend. So pretty much, when I was in the bridge position, when I turned this down, I could start blending in the neck pickup so I could get those outer coils. And when I was in the position right here with both of these pickups, I could start blending in the neck pickup to get all three positions uh, blended in together. And I was blown away by how awesome that bridge pickup sounded with just a little bit of the neck just in the tone. It just made it such a cool sound. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this is just the bridge pickup. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna blend in a little bit of that neck pickup and check that. Oh my gosh! Again, this is just bridge. And I'll blend in about six for the neck. And then when I wanted to go full telly again, I would just roll it all the way down and now I have my in-between telly position with the outer coils on it full. Very similar to those old 50s blend uh, knobs on the telly, only I still have the ability to use my tone knob. So I was really into that wiring, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. And what that was is when I was in the in-between position here, I would blend in the neck pickup, right? So the problem with that is I actually didn't really like that sound. I actually didn't really like the sound of all three pickups on at the same time. And as I said earlier, my favorite position on the Strat is that in-between position. <laughs> And I wanted to be able to keep my blend in, you know, at about seven all the time. But when I wanted to go in between, I wanted to just flick it in without having to worry about moving this tone knob. You know what I mean? I could just keep it where it is. And so what I did is I actually did a wiring where I disconnected the blend. So the blend only happens when I'm in the bridge position only. And that way I don't get any extra sounds I don't really need and I don't really want to clutter my sounds and I can get easy access to that in between position as well. And that's something I call uh, the quarter blend mod. Cool stuff. <laughs> You know, some days your guitar just, it sounds better for some reason, something in like the air or something. Uh, let's talk about how I got these things wired up. Let's talk about the schematics and everything. Uh, for my first mod, the three-way in-between position mod, where it's pretty much a standard strat, except for the middle position being the outer coils. Uh, this is the wiring over here. And if you look closely, you can see that there's one specialty part that you need. And that is you need a uh, two-pole, five-way switch for your selector. So most strats that you're gonna get, they're gonna come with, it's pretty much a two-pole three-way switch with an ability to get, you know, in between the three different uh, little tabs. It's different than the uh, five-way switch. Five-way switch, you have five positions, which gives you the ability to get what you want in each specific 
position. And that's how I was able to get that in between position the way I wanted it to be. Uh, you can use, and this is what I did use for years and years, which is those standard uh, four pole five way switches, which you would see in like the super strats with the SSH or any specialty wines, but you can get a two pole version of it. I got mine from the cats at next gen guitars and it's just a sleeker, more, you know, no frills kind of way to do things uh, if you want to go that way. Um, in terms of the way I have the pots done, I'm using, uh, again from NextGen, these 250K uh, Dunlop pots. And I uh, have this 0.047 UF uh, capacitor. So uh, you could tell I don't have any treble bleeds in it. I don't have any 50s mod. It's pretty straight and standard. I do like it getting darker as I turn down the volume, the tone. I think that just gives me more colors to play with and it makes the pickups, I don't know, it just, it makes them more natural sounding to me. Sometimes the, the treble bleeds can sound a little artificial, but that being said, if you do like treble bleeds, you do like 50s mods or the grease bucket stuff, you can do it with uh, this wiring as well. You could just add it onto this wiring or you can also add it to the other wiring as well. Now uh, for the second wiring, which is uh, a master tone knob and this last knob being a blend for the neck pickup in the bridge position only, uh, this is what the schematic looks like over here. And you can tell there are two parts that you're gonna need special for this job. One is for the no load pot. I got a 250K uh, no load pot for that blend. Uh, the reason why you use a no load pot is that way when I'm on 10, there is not a trace of that neck pickup going into my bridge tone. So I can just go all the way up and it's just pure bridge uh, the way we're all used to. Uh, if you're using a standard 250K pot, you're still gonna hear just a little bit of that neck pickup poking through. It's gonna, the, the tone's gonna be a little bit different. So you can use it with a 250K pot like that comes with your guitar, but I, I do think having a no load really does make a positive difference, especially if you wanna go traditional. Uh, lastly, you're also going to need, again, that two pole five way switch. Again, you can use those four pole switches, just use half the blade, or you just get a two pole five way switch as well. And that's gonna give you the ability to make sure that you don't get that blend on the middle position, uh, in between position, between the middle and the bridge. Now, again, if you don't want to go for the, uh, the two, whole five-way switch. You can use the standard switch, but you will have to. There's no way around it. You will have to be able uh, to deal with the fact that you're gonna have that blend on that in-between position to get that neck. It's not a backbreaker for most people, but I don't know. I just like the ability to switch on to that in-between position without having to worry about readjusting my tone knob. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Again, I have a standard uh, wiring, there's no 50s mod, there's no tone treble bleeds or anything like that. And also, if you like, because of the way that switch works, you can go make that middle position the outer coils as well. So if you actually wanna blend both mods together and have it so it goes neck, in between, neck, bridge, and then in between middle bridge and then bridge with the neck blade. You can mix it all together with that special switch and I'll include uh, the wiring for that right over here. So that's the wiring you'd use if you want to combine both of those mods in one guitar. But I figure just going like this to get that, you know, going all the way down to get the outer coils, that's more than enough for what I need. And I get to keep that middle position as well. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Lots of really cool classes you can take from film editing, movie stuff, guitar playing, the sky's the limit. This month, in an attempt to try something out of my comfort zone, I watched Carly Coons start drawing three fun freeing exercises to spark your creativity. There I learned how to express myself through continuous line drawing and use my mistakes to inspire future projects. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity.
Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. And there's lots of cool links in the description below. Uh, one for NextGen who supplied all the parts for this video. Uh, one for uh, the pickups I use. I use my own signature set of Strat pickups and you can check them out as well. And also uh, the Patreon link for all of the schematics that I used uh, for the different wiring. So please check that out. Uh, my question for the subscribers today is, uh, if do you have any strange and unusual wiring schematic for your Stratocaster? I'm always, always interested in hearing uh, what you all do to your guitars. So please uh, write it down in the comments section. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.